Gadgets and Gizmos brought to you by Accenture High Performance Delivered. Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show on Headlines Today. I'm Siddharth Sharma and over the next half an hour we've lined up for you guys some of the most interesting smartphones, tablets and DSLRs that are making waves in the market right now. But before we start with the show, let's tell you what's our lineup for this week. On the show this week, Sahil takes a selfie with his all new Geoni eLife E7 Mini. Entry-level DSLRs are heating up the summer of 2014. And I wonder whether the new Asus PhonePad 7 Dual SIM is a tablet or a smartphone. Alright, that's our lineup on the show and first up what we've got for you guys is a gadget that is a bit too big if you term it as a smartphone and rather regular if you term it as a tablet. But it is a mix of both. Meet the all new Asus PhonePad 7 and up next we get you a review on this new device. The voice calling tablet segment is growing. Samsung, Micromax, Lenovo, Carbon are coming out with their versions. And Asus has also come out with a 2014 edition of the PhonePad 7 with dual SIM capabilities. The new Asus PhonePad 7 dual SIM tablet takes some of its design cues from the original PhonePad. It's an all-plastic body, unlike the earlier version which featured a brushed metal aluminium finish at the back. Overall plastic build quality is decent and looks like any other 7-inch Android voice calling tablet out there. You will also find the lock screen and volume rocker buttons located on one side and both the SIM slots accompanied by the micro SD card slot beneath a plastic flap on the other. The top panel houses a 3.5mm audio jack and a charging port, while the microphone is placed on the bottom of the panel. Up front you get a 7 inch 1280 by 800 pixel display that is LED backlit IPS panel. The display is a bit reflective but bearable. The voice tab is a little bulky though and can seriously give you some arm workout. Unlike the original phone pad, the camera lens on the phone pad 7 dual SIM tablet packs a 5 megapixel rear autofocus camera and there is an absence of a flash on this one. Also on board is a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. The primary camera performs reasonably well in good lighting conditions while it is disappointing in low light situations. The new Asus PhonePad 7 is powered by a dual core Intel Clover Trail Atom Z2520 processor clocked at 1.2 GHz backed by 1 GB of RAM. There is 8 GB of inbuilt storage and the PhonePad 7 dual SIM runs on Android 4.3 Jelly Bean out of the box. The PhonePad 7 performs at par with the top of the line voice calling tablets and there was no such problems faced by us. The tablet handles multitasking really well and the overall performance is very acceptable on this one. There is also a 3950 mAh lithium polymer battery on the PhonePad 7 that lasts easily for about one and a half day. For a price tag of Rs 12,999, the Asus PhonePad 7 Dual SIM is a practical and affordable voice tablet that gives you a decent performance. Though the camera is not that great on this one, but it is bearable. PhonePad 7 also delivers when it comes to the battery backup. Asus PhonePad 7 Dual SIM 
is right now a very good option to go for if you are looking for a voice tablet with dual SIM capabilities. So next up on the show, we get you a review of the new entry-level DSLR from the house of Canon, the 1200D. Take a look. Canon has updated its DSLR lineup with the introduction of a new entry-level DSLR, the EOS 1200D. As the name suggests, it succeeds the EOS 1100D and in all fairness, it is not a huge upgrade, but rather a more gentle upgrade to the old DSLR, which has been designed to entice beginners. Canon has given the camera an improved look and feel than what it had on the 1100D. The deep grip and textured coating gives it a feel of quality and also makes it easy to hold. You can also easily use it with a single hand for auto shooting mode. In terms of specification, the 1200D offers a 18 megapixel APS-C size CMOS sensor, a 9 point autofocus system, a 63 zone metering system and a digit 4 processor. The 1200D is capable of full HD 1920 by 1080 pixel video at 30 frames per second. And what this means is that the whole Canon DSLR lineup now has the capacity to record high resolution movies. You can also take full manual control of the video recording which is a bit of an upgrade on an entry level model. The EOS 1200D also boasts of a maximum burst speed of 3 frames per second and the native ISO on the camera ranges from 100 to 6400 both in image and video modes. But this is also expandable up to 12,800. Canon has played it pretty safe with the 1200D's 460K dot resolution 3 in screen which is neither touch sensitive nor articulating or tilting. On the plus side, it does not suffer from glare or reflections under sunlight. It's also joined by an optical viewfinder that offers 95% field of view. On top of the camera is the mode dial which allows you to quickly switch between different shooting modes available including automatic, scene modes, semi-automatic and program automatic modes. One feature we would have liked to see on the Canon 1200D is a built-in Wi-Fi or NFC connectivity. The absence of these connectivity options might be slightly off-putting, but then it is an entry-level DSLR after all. The EOS 1200D's body is available for a price tag of Rs 30,995, while the basic kit including body and lens is available for Rs 34,995. Canon claims that the 1200D's battery lasts up to 500 shots, which is pretty reasonable for a camera of this price range. While images come out detailed, the camera itself isn't offering anything truly exciting. It's a decent camera for first-time photographers, but when you compare it to some of its rivals such as the Nikon D3300, which feature a higher resolution sensor and a continuous shooting rate of up to 5 frames per second, the 1200D begins to look less competitive. It is, for the moment, at least in a very good budget. And that's not the only entry-level DSLR review that we've got on this show. There's one more from the house of Nikon, but that after the small break. Gadgets and Gizmos brought to you by Accenture, high performance delivered.